Got every part of the holiday spread covered, including the appetizers. Jim Hagee from Chef's Market Catering and Restaurant is here with us, and we always love it when you are. Oh, Chili you. almond shrimp today. That's Chili your, shrimp. your starter for this us. This is, and I don't know how you do it, Meryl, but you, you, you get me to give up our most coveted recipes. We have people ask this all the time. This is... Uh, and we've never given it away. This is the first time, but uh, it's great. You know, if you have guests over for Thanksgiving that night before or cocktail parties to the holidays, yeah. uh, the Christmas Eve, this is a really great recipe. So instead of just pill them and eat them shrimp, this is an easy way to it do it. It sounds great. All right, so, so we make a marinade first. Marinade is the key, and okay. we're going to start with just a saucepan, and we're going to add two cups of teriyaki sauce to okay. that. And you can find that in the grocery store. Then. To that, we're going to add two cups of orange juice. Okay. And then you're going to let this come to a slow boil. But you're going to add some good stuff like brown sugar. Oh boy. It gives it a nice sweet flavor. A little bit of sesame oil also adds a great flavor. Now, I've said that this marinates two pounds of shrimp, but mm -hmm. you can do as many as four. If you're like my family, you'd need that many. Okay. But then you've got uh, a little bit of honey to go in there to kind of sweeten it. So, so you've, you've got, got a little sweet and a little spice too, because the spice. spice is coming. Spice is coming. And this is the red pepper. This is what we kind of name it after. I've got a two teaspoons here. I and like a little spice, but, but you could pull that back to even a, uh, a quarter of that if you wanted okay. to. A little bit of garlic. And then what I love, I love this, is uh, powdered ginger. Yeah. And you're going to let that all simmer and come to a slow boil. We're going to add a little bit of this to it as well. This is just parsley. Okay. That gives it a little bit of color. And then some black and white sesame seeds, about okay. two tablespoons of each. Are the black sesame seeds hard to find? No, you can find them in the grocery okay. store. I guess I've never you know, bought those. We have those when we're having family because, you know, but if you're, if you're <laughs> serving, because if, if they get in your teeth, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will say, you got sesame seeds in your teeth. <laughs> okay. So you let that come to a slow boil. All right. And then let it cool down until it gets to a little bit of uh, like room temperature. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. So See it'll that? thicken up a it'll bit. It'll thicken up and you want it, the honey to come out in it. And then you're going to take two pounds of shrimp, which is, uh, that's probably about 48 shrimp there. And then you just pour this over, and you're going to let it marinate, cover it, put it in the refrigerator. And with that shrimp, you have peeled and deveined and shelled, right? Shelled. Yeah. And taken, sometimes we'll take the tail off, sometimes not. I mm -hmm. like the tail. Are they left with something in their hand they got to deal with gotcha. if you're doing it as a pastor okay. d'oeuvre? So you would stir that up, and there's two ways that we serve this. Okay. At, our, at the house, when we're serving it at home, I'll take it and just let it marinate, and then I'll take some orange and red pepper and scallions and sprinkle that on top of it. So and do you drain this when you serve it, or do you serve it with the sauce already? I like it. Still if I'm serving in a bowl, I'll leave the sauce okay. in it. Maybe drain a little bit of it off, so, okay. you know, it, it, it can, it's not maybe as attractive as you'd want it to be, but let, it needs to six hours to 12 hours. Okay. And you don't want to let it marinate more than 24, it gets too done. Just put this on it, and then this. And that's how you would present it. Or, you know, you can wrap it with a snow pea. I don't know if we have time for that. Well, you see that we've done this over here, and it looks beautiful. I'm going to try to wrap one. Um, of course, you're going to let it marinate first. But and wrap it. Yeah, and then you just wrap that around the base. Okay. Stick your pick through it. And then put a red pepper right there on top. And then close the shrimp. And there you go. That's our... Chess Market's Chili Almond Shrimp. We sell them by the dozen. I bet you do. Yeah, lots wow. of them. <laughs> that looks fantastic. You sell that and everything you need for Thanksgiving, yes, too, so turkey, get your orders dressing, in quick. dressing, sweet potato casserole, cakes, pies, all of nice. that. Nice. It's wonderful. Still taking orders. So. Thank you for sharing this recipe. That's I can't wait to pleasure. try it. Thank it's going to be great. All right, this is recipe number 5451. You know Jim Hagee's ready to see you over at Chef's Market and Catering and a Restaurant over in Goodlettsville.